Okay, so what I'm doing, I, I bought a eye of round roast, and I'm going to slice this into one eighth inch thick slices so I can prep it for my beef jerky. So we're going to slice this up right now. Okay, so I sliced up my eye of round and London broil into one eighth inch slices. I got them bagged and ready to go. And what I'm going to do next is marinate these. They're going to sit in the refrigerator for 8 to 24 hours with the marinade. I'll come back and show you how to make the marinade. Okay, so now I'm making my marinade for my teriyaki jerky. And I got three pounds of eye around already sliced up. And then I'm going to be mixing up for the marinade. Okay, so I have half my uh, beef in the bag. And what I'm going to do is put half of the marinade in with it. Get that coated. I'm going to take the other half. Put it in the bag. Pour in the rest of my marinade. Seal this up. Make sure it's sealed good and tight. And then I'm going to push that around, get it nice and coated, and I'll keep checking this every uh, few hours and put it in the refrigerator, let it marinate overnight, 24 hours, so it has a good uh, coating, good marinade on it, and then we'll be uh, ready to put it in the dehydrator and make some jerky. So now I'm preparing my teriyaki beef jerky. I marinated it overnight, and what I'm doing now is just taking the pieces and trimming off any fat. Fat is our enemy, especially when it goes to sit. It doesn't want to keep for a long time, so we want to make sure that we trim off all the, all the fat before we dehydrate it. Then I'm just simply cutting it up into strips to go on the dehydrator and just spacing them out nice and evenly as much as possible and then once I'm done with this, once I have all the trays filled, I'm working on the third tray then we'll uh, turn on the dehydrator and let it uh, sit for four hours to dehydrate it and uh, we'll come back then Okay, so now we have all our trays filled with the teriyaki uh, beef, and now we're going to put on the lid of our dehydrator. Going to put our clips on, 
hold the lid in place. And then we're going to plug her in. And turn this on. There's no temperature control, but this usually takes about four hours for the uh, beef to dry out and turn into jerky. So we'll come back in about an hour and check on it just to see how it's doing. Okay, it's been an hour. We're going to check and see how our uh, jerky's doing. So we're taking off the tabs. We're going to turn it off. That's starting to dry out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely rotate these trays. As you can see, some of the pieces down below are getting a little more dry than the ones on top. So I want to just change the air circulation on these pieces. See how they're getting nice and uh, jerky-like. Put this back on. Turn it back on. And then we're just going to let it go for three hours. And we'll come back and check on it, and it should be uh, good to go. So after the four hours of dehydrating, here's the finished product, and I do have a, another batch going right now that's uh, all about 45 minutes in, and what I want you to see is just how pliable this, this is. It's not stiff, it's not crisp, you know, it's real tender. And oh, it's so good. Mm. Look at that. Very tasty teriyaki beef jerky. Enjoy.